often referred to as space slugs and for good reason. Exogorfs were ginormous silica-based creatures that often resided in the caverns and craters of asteroids. And while sightings of these beasts were often scoffed at by others, anyone who witnessed an exogorf or two up close knew that they were anything but fantastical tales. Welcome to the Karen Kruzan Star Wars Lore Episode 186, Space Slugs. Reproduced by splitting into two smaller, separate bodies, space slugs were incredibly self-reliant and intelligent creatures even from the day they were born. As such, Exogorphs could calculate the speed, trajectory and distance of nearby celestial objects to move from asteroid to asteroid. They did so by simply pushing off one surface to another and by riding strong gusts of solar wind. The gargantuan creatures then anchored themselves in place through the use of tendrils to begin feeding off the rich mineral deposits nearby in addition to pockets of passive radiation. It was widely presumed that the many variations of exogorphs, such as the Crimson Slug, reproduced and survived in a similar manner. When you consider the way in which they reproduced and settled down in asteroids to remain largely dormant, space slugs didn't appear to be all that threatening. But not every single member of the species grew to a rather underwhelming length of 10 meters. For example, infertile exogorphs could tower as high as 1 kilometer. So it should come as no surprise that they were large enough to house entire ecosystems and swallow starships whole. In fact, such beasts were known to take sizable bites out of even the galaxy's largest capital ships although each lunge came at the expense of exhausting all of their energy. The most famous example of a ship coming into dangerously close contact with a space slug occurred shortly after the Battle of Hoth, when the Millennium Falcon fled into the maw of one such creature, believing it to be a regular crevice of an inconspicuous asteroid. However, Han Solo, Leia Organa and the rest of their crew soon realised that something was gravely amiss. Their fears were then shockingly realised as they barely escaped the closing mouth of the Exogorf. While some space facilities resided nearby to Exogorfs for safety reasons, certain civilizations found a way to manipulate the massive beasts. The House of Adaska, for example, could control their hunger drives, growth rate and reproductive processes. But if that wasn't incredible enough, the various Asdacorp scientists attached hyperdrives to groups of space slugs for galactic transportation. Unfortunately, these various discoveries were used for nefarious purposes, such as the annihilation of space stations, asteroids, moons and even planets. This essentially made exogorphs invaluable weapons of mass destruction. Now it's time for this week's question. Which massive beast in the Star Wars universe would you fear more? Exogorphs or Sarlaccs? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to vote for next week's episode by participating in the card poll on screen now. Also, to have your say in future lore videos, head on over to thecarnkazans.com and get voting. If you learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. And for weekly lore content, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep it locked here. To the Karen